April 8th, 2024. I'm sure most of you in the US knows what that means the end of the world. Just kidding. Solar eclipse is happening today and our homestead is in the path of totality. I'm really excited about this and I'm really interested to seeing what happens with our animals. Like I've heard some interesting things about it. Will they go to bed? Will they like act strange? Some say that pets will like hide or howl. Will the sounds in the woods change? I don't know, but I guess we'll see because we're more than farmers. Interestingly enough, our last video was also something about the weather. We've had tornado warnings and we've got this flooding going on. Some say it's being caused by the coming eclipse. Some say it's the biblical end of the world. Some say it's the government's fault. I'm not even gonna try to have a discussion about this and please don't light up the comments with all the conspiracy theories. I mean, honestly, most of those can be debunked and I'm neither confirming nor denying any of those conspiracy theories, but let's just say that most of those are rooted in fear and that's just not how we wanna live. And one thing to keep in mind is that an eclipse happens like once every couple years, but often it's just in another part of the world that we can't see. Often they're over the ocean or something like that. So while it is really special for us where we are at this time, it's not some kind of crazy phenomenon that just like never happens. The only point that I wanted to make with that is that we shouldn't live in fear. But enough of all that, I wanna take you around and show you the different stations that I'm gonna have set up to see our animals and see what happens when our world goes dark. Today, just like any other day, I came out here and milked the cow and I've been keeping Holly penned up for a little bit of extra time after I'm done milking just to make sure she's not quite as hard on Maddie, give Maddie a little bit of time to produce some milk for her to drink. And also somebody suggested it so that she doesn't hold back as much of the cream. That hasn't really changed yet, but it does seem like it's making so she's not quite as hard and putting as many cuts on Maddie's teeth as she was before. But now it's time to let her out. There you go. Weirdo. <laughs> Since the cows will be able to move around and stuff in this pasture here, I'm actually gonna be holding the camera to make sure I capture whatever they do. They're gonna be able to have access to their barn here and then this little section of pasture. And I don't know if they'll really do anything. Some people said that animals act funny sometimes and some people just say they lay down and you know, like they're going to bed. So we'll see if they go up into the barn or if they lay down in the pasture. I don't know, we'll see. Izzy is also gonna have a camera to help capture the actual eclipse and also to video and see what our dog Cowboy does. Besides the cows and the dog, we also have the chickens here. And I'm gonna set a tripod up here. And we don't have a lot of fancy cameras around here, so this is actually gonna be a phone as a camera down here. I'm gonna set the tripod right inside the door here so we can get a view of like the nest boxes and the perches and the chickens and we'll see what they do. Maybe if I set this tripod here now, they'll get used to it and not mess with it once the camera's actually on it. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, I rolled my ankle. Now we've still got, we've still got a few hours until this thing starts happening. It's gonna be about two o'clock at the very first touch and then the total eclipse is gonna be at around 310-ish, 3.15. And we're gonna have a little over three minutes of totality. So that'll be pretty cool. And it's supposed to go all the way until like, I think 4.30ish or so. And we've also got our beehives down here. There's only one hive full of bees, but they are really active right now. The sun is shining. It's literally the most beautiful, perfect day to be able to see everything. Blue sky. But unfortunately, I was looking at the weather app and it looks like we might have cloud cover, like right over the time of the eclipse. It's crazy. It's supposed to be sunny before and after, but who knows? Maybe we'll get sunny the whole day. But anyways, I also want to set up a camera down here. We've got an action cam we're setting up down here. And we'll see, I don't know what the bees will do. Maybe they'll all kind of come to the hive, but you can see right now they are really, really active. So we'll see what happens when it gets dark in the middle of the day. I don't want to get too close. I don't want these things to get mad at me. Boy, they are covered in pollen, that is so cool. I also wanna to go to these different stations. I don't know exactly how my cameras are gonna act when it darkens like that. I tried it out with a light room and a dark room, and I think it'll work pretty good, but I'll probably come to each of the places and you know shine a light if I need to or anything and just make sure that we can really see what's going on. All of our camera batteries are fully charged. We've got things set up, so now we just wait for it to start. 
It is getting close to 2.30, and as you can see, still very bright out here, but we do have a partial eclipse going on. Nothing's really changing around here. Still bright. I think probably it's just my imagination. It seems like I can maybe feel like it's just a little bit darker. I don't know. We did some of the other fun things that you should do while you're waiting for a total solar eclipse to happen. We got a colander out and let the sun shine through it. And I'm not going to try to explain the science, but basically instead of round holes showing through it, actually crescent showed through it, which is super cool. Can definitely see that it's getting darker right now. Don't have to squint, it's not as sunny. And it's really awesome. We don't have the cloud cover that I was afraid of. And it's starting to cool down just a little bit. You can feel it in the air while we're waiting to get to totality. I just wanted to let you guys know that we've got some friends and family here that are watching it with us. And I wanted to say thank you to each one of you who wherever you are in the world are watching it with us too. It's just a really odd feeling because it's getting darker, but like not when it's getting nighttime. It's just this odd like dark haze. It's getting so close. There's just a sliver left. So weird. It's like eerie. And all of a sudden, it happened. That is probably the coolest thing that I've ever seen. It's like dark in the middle and there's this ring of just glow around it shooting out from it. Then there's this like little speck of brightness on the edge it's so cool and it's like eerie dark everywhere so i need to go check on the animals see what's happening the cows just kind of stood there they didn't bed down or anything but they definitely paused somewhere off in the distance someone started shooting off fireworks and that got their attention and i don't know if you can tell in the video but the bees pretty much stopped flying in and out when it got dark it was hard to tell with the sounds in the woods because the spring peepers had been going off and on throughout the day but the sounds did go up and down in volume through the stages of darkness but nothing really different happened i was so frustrated because i forgot to turn off the light in the chicken coop that kind of ruined that experiment I was hoping they would go up to roost, but they did definitely just kind of chill out for a bit over in the corner. Cowboy didn't really do much. She had so much going on being distracted by all the kids there to play with. So we didn't really notice anything there. So I guess the animal's reaction was a little anticlimactic. And I was honestly expecting a little more out of them. But what I wasn't expecting was how beautiful and amazing the actual eclipse was. I actually got a little emotional in that moment and I was just so much in awe to be a part of that and I know it's something that I will never forget. Michelle was busy taking care of things around here and talking to the guests that were here and so she wasn't in the video much but I do want to go ask her what she thought about the eclipse today. So what did you think about the eclipse today? It was actually really incredible. If I'm completely honest, I wasn't really expecting that much. I didn't do any research at all, so I didn't know like how an eclipse looks or anything like that. And, you know, we had the glasses out and we were watching the moon like partially cover the sun. You know, you could see the big bite taken out of the sun and everything, and it was cool. But when the eclipse actually happened, it was like, it was almost emotional. Everything was like, dark but yet everything was glowing and the eclipse itself was just it was stunning it was so beautiful and it was like in that tiny little span where we were watching the eclipse it almost felt like like a worship moment it was a once in a lifetime experience i want to give a quick shout out to my buddy jaken he was here today took some footage of the eclipse and i was really struggling to get some good shots with my camera but he got some really good ones that i was able to use in this video so thanks a lot jaken and also my friend morgan from goldshaw farm was also in the path of totality on his homestead in vermont and he is also posting a video tonight about his experience and his animals and you can click on it right here to watch it right now 